Hi everyone, uh, we're back for our December Ask Anna and this month we are talking all things party wear, aren't we? <laughs> we are, I think one of the things I get asked most about at this time of year is what do I wear for the mum's night out, mm -hmm. the Christmas work do's, dinner parties at friends, there's just so much happening at this time of year so I've got a few things, a few ideas um, that I'm going to share for there's everyone. There's sparkly things there, I'm very excited, yes. sparkle. Yeah, there's <laughs> lots of sparkle. I think. Um, what I'm trying to do is just suggest some alternatives. I think the little black dress is like a staple and I think every wardrobe should have a little black dress. But there are so many other options as well that maybe we don't even consider. Mm -hmm. So I've just got a bit of a selection to show you. So okay. yes, yes. Do you want me to have a point? Okay, so the first thing I have just got a little black dress. <laughs> she says. <laughs> I've got to cover the little black dress option, but what I've done is just look at something that sort of elevates that a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, I have a lot of my clients who, for whatever reason, don't necessarily want to have their arms out at this time of year. Sometimes because it's winter, some people just not so keen on the upper arm yeah. as well. So I have got a few options that cover that, but still feel quite party and, you know, appropriate for Christmas. So I really liked this one because it's the classic black dress. Embellishment and pearl details are really popular this season. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's really pretty. And remember, wherever you put the embellishment, the detail, the accessories, the colour, the pattern, that's where the attention will be drawn. Ah. Um, so this does that really beautifully, but in quite a subtle way, enhances the sort of the cleavage and the bust. And I always think that this um, decolletage, I'm never sure if I say that completely right. It is, right. it's decolletage. Decolletage. <laughs> um, I think that's a really beautiful feminine part, it's just really delicate and a lovely area to show off. So that really enhances um, that area and also means that you don't really need much in the way of accessories up there. Yeah, so definitely. it kind of does that for you, which I really like. The other thing is it's got this lovely ruffle detail as well. So um, the two things combined to help to balance out proportions. So if you are a little bit broader on the top, having detail or volume on the bottom, if you've got a slimmer hip, um, yeah. hips and bottom, that really helps. And then that subtle waist definition just gives you the illusion of a waist if you haven't already got it's one. It's the thing as well, it's like I personally, I get worried about my, my tummy area in the sense that, you know, if you've had drinks and things like that, you start to feel a little bit self-conscious, don't yes, you? Yes. Whereas yeah. this kind of peplum detail, yeah. I think just gives you that bit of confidence where you'll just feel a little bit, yeah, more, more confident in it. Yeah, exactly. So it does that beautifully. Such a waist definition, so it's going to give you nice shape um, and, yeah, not much accessories. And in a way, I think that's quite nice because you're not having to think about yeah. lots of different things. So oh, yes. that's the classic black dress. I couldn't resist a bit of sparkle. I'm happy with the sparkle. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Um, there's so much sparkle on the high street at the moment. Zara have got some amazing, like, sparky trousers. Mm -hmm. They have a bright red blazer and um, trouser suit because it's all sequins I mean it's a lot but it's amazing <laughs> but you could like decouple that and wear them separately if you didn't yeah. want to go the whole hog um, whistles top shop they're everywhere I really like this because it's a looser fit so mm -hmm. if you are fuller around the middle or that's where you carry your weight or like you say just feel a bit conscious if you've gone out for a big meal or anything this as long as you get them to fit at the shoulder that's yeah. really important you want the nice snug fit at the shoulder but this just skips and if you've got a great pair of legs, it's perfect. It's really lovely. And the sleeves on this a little bit like ruched as well, just to give a little bit of a different texture. Uh, no, I think it's just a seat that got caught. Oh, so the <laughs> got caught. Oh, um, yeah. That would have uh, been nice. It would be nice though, um, but no, I don't think it is. I just, I thought that was really lovely. It makes me want to just like, you know those kids jumpers that you get? Yeah. Where it doesn't do that, but that's what I expected to do. The other thing about this as well, I always feel like that particular shape is very 60s. It's kind yes. of really like, you know, that little box kind of shape, yeah. which is really nice. And again, gives you confidence to just be able to just go about your business or dance or whatever, yeah. which is what we want to do at this exactly. time. Exactly. Super comfortable if you sat down as yeah. well and having a meal. Um, and again, because it's so sparkly, you don't need much in the way of accessories. Mm -hmm. sort of, it's everything in a dress, which we really like. So that's that one. Now moving on to some colour. Yes. Um, and I've deliberately chosen two dresses that are in slightly lighter colour yes. tones. Because I think we sometimes at this time of year shy away from brighter, lighter colours mm -hmm. and we immediately will gravitate towards a black or a navy, which there's nothing wrong with, but particularly if you've got fair hair, fair skin, eyelashes, eyebrows, the darker colours can be quite heavy to wear and yeah. um, they can be a little bit draining. Mm -hmm. So do consider if you have got that fairer skin, you know, colour characteristics that 
some of the brighter lighter colours might be a slightly better option for you. Yeah. Um, and there's no reason why you can't wear them in the winter. Mm -hmm. These two, I mean, you've worn this one, I've worn you? this. This dress is amazing as well. It's so these are both from oh. 8 Sign, aren't they? Yes, they're 8 Sign, And yeah. this particular one as well, I'm pretty sure they still have, um, I think it's £10 from every, every dress goes towards a, a breast cancer charity oh, as well, really which nice. is fabulous. In, yeah. in its, at, when I wore it, it was the most comfortable dress to wear. Yeah. And it's a really clever um, length as well. Because yes. it's not quite knee length, it's very midi. Yeah. And so it, it, it elongates you. It's yeah. beautiful, really yeah. nice dress. Perfect. And again, all of the detail is up here. Mm -hmm. With this dress, I love the cutout. Um, pair, great pair of earrings or something just to enhance. Um, hair up, looks really lovely because there's some nice detail on the back as well. And that is great for someone like yourself, Natalie, who's got like a nice and neat hourglass body, um, yeah. body shape. So nips in at the waist and just skims and, uh, and it's got a bit of stretch to it. It so does, it is really yeah, it's really comfortable. So that's eight sign. And then this one I chose. This purple is more or less a universal colour, so mm -hmm. whatever colour characteristics you have, most of us can wear like this kind of cap breeze purple I describe yeah. it as. Um, so that's a lovely alternative colour for the evening. Again, this gives you a bit of waist definition, and I am a sucker for anything with back detail, and I just thought that was really pretty. Really um, that low cut with the slight drape at the back. So. Really Would that elegant. work on most shapes, most body shapes as well, or do you have to have kind of the in and out? I would say you could have like a straighter body shape it would work for, mm -hmm. and a neat hourglass, but the very curvaceous full hourglass, mm -hmm. probably the proportions are a little bit more difficult for a full hourglass. So usually full hourglass are better going for something that's got lots of stretch, or separate sometimes are a bit easier because just of the proportions, getting a dress that fits everywhere can be a bit tricky, unless you have it altered. Which is something I say to all my clients, find a good seamstress in an area near you and have things nipped and tweaked because that's the way to get the very best fit and it's very inexpensive to do. It is, well isn't it? it? Because you might see something that you absolutely love. Yeah. Like I've done it myself because my proportions, I, I can get things to fit me here and here, yeah. but then on the waist it's a lot smaller and, and, yeah. and I tend to be kind of in between sizes. Yeah. And I often have things taken in for me or just nipped in in certain places just to make it fit. Because I've seen it and I'm like, oh my god, I love it. Yeah. Does and it not do it my size? And it's sometimes it's like ten pounds or fifteen pounds yeah. to have it and then you've got something that fits perfectly, perfectly. looks beautiful and will last you. So it's well worth that Absolutely. extra investment. Um, I love green. Oh, so fair. I just saw this, and it, this is another eight. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, this is eight sign. I just thought this was so festive and something that you could wear for a party mm -hmm. or like Christmas Day, like really it's gorgeous so Christmas pretty. Day outfit. Again, sleeve deep, you know, sleeves with the detail on, which I think is really pretty. Um, and that kind of kick um, at the skirt as well. It just gives a lovely shape. I love shape. the pearls as well. Yeah. Because I think, you know, we, we do tend to always go for sparkle at this time mm. of year. But, but a pearl, which I've seen a lot of pearl headbands actually yeah, as well, loads. and just like loads of pearl details. It, it's quite luxurious, I think. It adds an element of luxury to an item. It definitely does. And like a pearl headband with this would yeah. be so cute for Christmas. Day. That's my Christmas day. So that's you sorted, actually. <laughs> Tick. Um, red. I had to have a red dress in. Yes. Um, red is, I just love this colour. And for this time of year, it just, a bit like the green, it just feels so appropriate. I'm, I, again, I love anything that's asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. This big oversized bow detail is very popular again this season. Nice. Um, again, this is an eight sign one. And it's just, I just love the drama of it. I think it's really, really pretty, um, and it's a nice way of doing it. It's like the 80s thing, the yeah. 80s vibe, but I think this is a little bit more subtle mm -hmm. um, and elevated. And there was, um, so the British Fashion Council Awards, there was uh, Lily James and then Rihanna, or, mm -hmm. or no, Lupita, mm -hmm. they all wore those kind of really big festive bow dresses, yes. and like you say, but, but still slightly more subtle than the 80s. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> toned it down <laughs> a bit. The sleeves aren't quite as... Not quite. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love the 80s, I'm a child of the 80s, but... Possibly not our best fashion no. decade. <laughs> um, so again, I just thought that one for a cocktail party or, you know, a slightly more dressed up event, that's a real mm -hmm. showstopper. So don't be afraid to wear red. It's such a gorgeous colour and it gives off this such a confident energy yes. um, that, uh, yeah, just gorgeous. I love everything about that one. Um, and then the other thing I've looked at is alternatives to dresses. So yeah. if you're not so keen on your legs or you just want something a bit different, um, like I said before, separates are a really nice way to go. Pleated mini skirts like you've got, I love because you yeah. can dress them down with a jumper or you could dress them up with, you know, like a sparkly top or Definitely. a silk camisole. Um, jumpsuits. 
I love jumpsuits. And this one caught my eye. Again, this is the eighth sign. Lace is another key trend. Well, to be honest, it's been around for a while now. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. Um, I just love the wide leg. It just feels yeah. really funky. But it still has this gorgeous shape. Neck detail. I just think it's quite nice sometimes to be a bit different. And also, this gives the illusion of it being a dress yeah. still. So that kind but of collapse <laughs> kind of feel. Yeah, you yeah. Know, um, but with the freedom of trousers. Oh, it's so got pockets. It's got pockets. I was just going to say, I love a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just wanted to include that as an alternative. Jumpsuits for party season are amazing. So absolutely love that one. And then I also picked out this pair of trousers. There's quite a few Ooh. of these. They're almost, some are cigarette style and some are more kind of jogger style with the tapering okay. down at the, um, the ankle. These are by Studio um, and they just have that sequin detail on the side yeah. which really elongates the leg. Again, you could pop a pair of trainers and a sweatshirt on with these and that's just quite a cool casual daytime look mm -hmm. for this time of year. Or you can put a pair of strappy heels and a pretty top and you've got a really nice party outfit that you know is still in keeping with the festive season but you don't necessarily have to go for full on <laughs> yeah exactly you don't have to go all out with the dress so they're just a few ideas yeah. for what you could wear for christmas parties nice. etc yes so the other thing i get asked about at this time of year so i'll have clients and they'll come to me and they'll say i've got whatever coming up can you help me find an outfit yeah. and then we'll find something and i'll say what am I going to put over it? Because that's so true. That is so true. Because you don't want to put like your school run coat over your lovely dress. <laughs> um, Definitely not mine. No, no, exactly. But not many of us will have necessarily that because we don't have occasion to wear them mm. all that often. We might not necessarily have something that works over these things. Yeah. So from studio, I've just picked out a couple of things that I think would work with it like in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm massive on buy less, choose well, try and restyle things as much as you possibly can. Now, with your party dresses, they're occasion wear. You're going to wear them, a, you know, a few times, hopefully, year after year. And they're going to come back in out of year after year. Yes. You know, sparkle doesn't really go anywhere at this time of year. The jewel colours always come back at this time of year. So you can kind of justify spending a little bit more because you know, actually, it's an investment for, for the long term. Yeah, and that's it. And I always say to my clients, I know maybe you're only going to wear it once or twice this year, but think about buying something that you really love and has that longevity so mm -hmm. that you will go back to it time and time again, which I feel like all of these, they're not yeah, right. trends, but they're not like, oh, like overly they're not trendy. trendy yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's why I've chosen all of those styles. With your outerwear, I, I think having a bit of texture um, and a bit of drama, well, I feel at Christmas, <laughs> You, you can eat, drink, and wear pretty much whatever you want, and just, it's Christmas. <laughs> but that's a valid, like, excuse reason for doing any of, like, eating, drinking, and wearing anything you want, because it's Christmas. Absolutely, <laughs> I'm with you on this, I am. So, you know, when else would you go, like, fully in, out in a sequin dress and things like that? Maybe me now and again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> um, so with the outerwear, what I've looked at, like I said, is texture. So this Ooh. comes in this gorgeous teal colour, which again I picked out because it's a universal colour, mm -hmm. so it suits most people, whatever your hair colour, skin tone, etc. Um, that texture, the shape, because it sits at the waist, that's going to work with um, trousers, skirts, or dresses because it yeah. has some shape to it, and I just love that. That's the texture it's really really, really nice. beautiful so that comes in that teal it's and almost like a fringing as well isn't it yeah like, there's a bit of a fringing thing going on with it it's really, it's really pretty yeah, it's so that combined with sequins or mm. leather or pleather or something like that really gorgeous and then so that's from studio it comes in black as well and then when i saw this i just couldn't resist yes. it um i just love faux fur yeah. it's so tactile and again, I would stick this with like jeans and biker boots, mm -hmm. or I would put it over an evening outfit. And it's just that drama when you walk into the room. Yeah. It's warm, so it's practical. And I just think there's so many different ways you could wear that. So that for me is like. I a love them. Staple. I think so too, because I think I love the timeless element to faux fur in the yeah. sense that. You know, you look back at the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s even, and there's some glamorous cocktail party happening and some 
you know, a nice little uh, fur but faux fur now yes. uh, number. And it's, it's again, it's drama. Yeah. And it just adds that elegance. Yes. Um, and you will pull it out of the wardrobe time and time and time again. And I think wear it in the day, wear it in the evening. Yeah. I chose the leopard print one because leopard print is a neutral. So whatever colour you're wearing, oh. you can stick it on and it will work with everything. So that's a great piece to have in the wardrobe. Amazing. Yes. Um, so yeah, so they're just a few ideas, and in terms of accessories and things like that, I think it's just about thinking what the hero of your outfit is, so yeah. I think we sometimes panic about, oh, I need the accessories and the shoes and the bag yeah. and things like that, and absolutely you need to complete the whole outfit, but just think about where the elements are of your outfit, where you want the focus to be, and yeah. like I said with the pearl headband that you suggested, if this is the hero of your outfit, this mm -hmm. pearl detail on this gorgeous dress, Everything else should be the supporting act to draw attention into the star of the show, basically. Yeah. So that's what you want to think about when you're accessorising. This is the star of the show, and it doesn't really need anything else. <laughs> I don't think it needs anything else <laughs> because it doesn't want to compete. Enough. It doesn't want to compete for attention. Yeah. So that's what I would suggest as a general rule with your accessories: what's your star of the show, and how can you just enhance it without creating too much noise? Amazing. Well, I think Anna has got us all sorted for Christmas. I'm. I'm going to take half of that, I think. Yeah. Just, you know, I'm just going to put this on. <laughs> you put that on and I've got Christmas Day. And, uh, and we will be back um, in January with our next Ask Anna. So please remember to get all your questions in. And also visit us at the website, www.thecapsule.co.uk. You can also now tune in to our podcast, The Capsule in Conversation. Uh, our first guest we had was Natasha Hamilton. And we've got loads more fantastic guests coming up. So we shall be seeing you very soon.